cuts and inflation relief on the way for millions of Californians. But for the second time, a vulnerable group of seniors are getting skipped. CBS 13's Andrew Hobner is getting answers on why the low income residents won't receive rebates this fall. The California state legislature put into effect that relief package that includes taxpaying residents of the state. But much like the Golden State stimulus package of 2021, residents over 65, anything from low income to disability to Social Security, are being missed out on again. Older low income Californians are frustrated. We have to pay taxes on our vehicles and everything else, so. We're still paying taxes. As the new relief plan leaves non tax filing residents out of luck for stimulus relief again. I don't think it's fair because everybody should get the rebate because we've paid taxes before. Residents under 65 with no dependent making less than 19,000 per year don't have to file taxes in California. That also applies to families with two dependents making less than 42,000 and joint filers 65 or older making less than 51,000. Adults over 65 have the highest rate of poverty in the state of California. And California doesn't take taxes from Social Security and disability. And if we don't make enough now to file taxes, we should get the rebate no matter what. Some believe that there should have been other criteria for receiving rebates. Veterans should get, definitely get it, because mm -hmm. they deserve it. They defended this country. The legislature intended for taxpayer status as opposed to the governor's plan of rebates per vehicle owner as a means of helping more vulnerable populations. But in the meantime, one of those very groups misses out on aid again and is hoping for one thing. Treat everybody equal. Yeah. Like they're a human being. CBS 13 reached out to three local Sacramento Assembly members as well as House Speaker Anthony Rendon and have yet to receive a comment back. Deputy Director of the Department of Finance, H.D. Palmer, did say there are a measure of assistance programs, whether that's assistance for rent, utilities, or water that are available to low-income residents that are not filers. All right, Andrew, thank you.